Uh, my name is uh, Christopher Depsik. I'm an assistant professor in mechanical engineering. Well, what I did is I started a uh, basically an alternative energy and ve vehicular technology project and in it I added to the curriculum course ME645 uh, basically a alternative energy vehicle design project where the students are meant to learn the technology that will get them the best jobs when they're leaving KU. And what they did this year is they actually took a 1974 Volkswagen Super Beetle, recycled it, had been sitting on an automotive lot for two and a half years, gutted it and turned it into a series hybrid vehicle that runs on 100% biodiesel that's actually created on campus from the used cooking oil at Mrs. E's cafeteria. It was interesting on my part, I, I never thought they'd actually get it running, but when they came into my office and proved to me that it works as a full series hybrid, I was, I was quite amazed. I was, actually telling my wife I couldn't believe they actually did it for about two weeks afterwards but it runs and it runs really well and it handles better than you can imagine so I think from that standpoint I've learned a lot in terms of the level of students here at KU and, and what I can expect from them. Pretty much when you have a problem you have to figure out some way of overcoming it. I mean nothing ever works the first time. I think uh, Sitkin actually says that you know failure is an essential part of success. So to fail but learn from your failures and improve on your designs and improve going forward, then that's when you come up with the real success. And I think that's what we learned from the project is that, you know, little things didn't work, but it was never a big thing. Well, one of the main aspects we're looking at is first and second generation biofuels. And with the Kansas economy and, the, and specifically the agriculture part of the uh, state of Kansas, by coming up with fuels here at KU that make a significant difference in terms of performance and fuel economy, we're looking at hopefully growing the economy in the state of Kansas to basically better the entire nation. Yeah, I think that, you know, depending on whatever you feel is, you know, an alternative energy or you feel is something that's, you know, need, needed in society, you can definitely find a group of students, if not faculty, on board here at KU to help uh, get your project up and running and also provide the enthusiasm that, you know, provides some real tangible benefits in the long run. And I think KU is a, is a great place to get that whole community together behind a project so that it really makes a difference in the long run.